Hey friends, let me show you Svelte's best kept secret, and that is the Svelte Inspector. So for example, let's say that you're inside of a Svelte project and you want to quickly find an element or a component to edit, such as in this example where I have this title and the description. So usually to quickly find something, you can search for a string. So maybe we can search for continue reading because this is dynamically generated here, so I can't really search for that. So if I go to my editor, I can go to find and I can say continue reading. And of course we can find this quickly, but this is no way to live your life. There is a much easier way by using the Svelte Inspector. So back in the browser I can enable the Svelte Inspector by using the shortcut Alt X and this is going to give us this indicator that we can select a component or an element. And now you're going to see it's going to show you the location, but what's even cooler is that you can open this in your editor by pressing enter or clicking on the element. So let's do that. And this should open this exact position in the editor. How awesome is that? And the reason I say that this is Svelte's most kept secret is because this feature for whatever reason isn't documented anywhere in the Svelte documentation. So maybe that's a great opportunity for someone to open a pull request. Alright, so the Svelte Inspector is part of the Vite Svelte plugin. So if we go here to this page, we can see the only documentation for the Svelte Inspector is inside of here. So we can open this and then we can see that the Inspector is a Vite plugin that adds a Svelte Inspector in the browser. It shows the file location where the element under the cursor is defined and you can click to quickly open your code editor at this location. And the only thing that you have to do is open your cell config and add with plugin inspector true. And I can show you that in my code. So let me search for Svelte config in your project so you can open this. You can see the only thing that you have to do is add this inspector true here. All right, so now that you enable the inspector, you can go to your project and if I press Alt X, this should by default activate the Svelte Inspector. But of course, you can modify this even further if you read the documentation. So we can copy and paste all of this here. So let's go to our config. So I'm going to turn this into an object. And as you can see, this is how you know the default shortcut because this is the default config. So you can change the default toggle key combo. You can change show toggle button to be always. And you can change the default button position. So in this case, when I go to my project after saving, it's going to take a second to reload. But you're going to see, now we're going to see the Svelte Inspector icon in the corner. And now we can press Alt X and it's going to activate the inspector. And there's even more cool configuration options here. So you can configure the Svelte Inspector using environment variables instead of using the Svelte config if that's something that you want. And you have many plugin options here, such as toggle key combo, which we explored. Nav keys are really interesting, so you can navigate the parent, child, next, and previous elements. So for example, if I go here to my project, I press Alt X. Now we're inside of this parent, but I can use the up and down arrow key to select the child or parent. And now when I'm inside of this child component, I can use the left or right arrow to navigate. So if I say arrow down, we're going to be inside of this component, and then you can go to the next and previous element. And that is really cool. Alright, so what are some other options here? So we have the default open key, the escape key, the hold mode. So you can enable the inspector only when you're holding this key down. Then you have show toggle button, which we already explored. So you can hide it or show it by default. And then we have the toggle button position. So you have all of these types, top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left. And the default is top right. And here is something else that is interesting. You can even have custom styles. So this is going to inject custom styles when the inspector is active. So this is useful if you want to customize the inspector styles to match your app. And what this does is just adds a Svelte Inspector enabled class to the body element and a Svelte Inspector Active Target class to the current active target. So let's see how this works. So if we go back to our config, we can say custom styles true. Let's save this. This is going to take a second. All right, so let's open the developer tools. All right, so if we enable the Svelte Inspector on the page, you're going to see it's going to add this class Svelte Inspector Enable. And now let's, for example, go to this element in the DOM. All right, so now when we use the Svelte Inspector, we can see that it adds this Svelte Inspector Active Target class. So now we can target this and use our custom styles. But yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, the Svelte Inspector is really powerful and useful. And of course, if you want to learn Svelte, you can check out my free Complete Svelte 5 course on YouTube. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!